T.O. Plays. Hey there, this is T.O. bringing you another Kerbal Space Program video. I'm very excited, finally, to record some audio on this first video of my new little series called Late Legacies. So, the idea, I'm sure lots of K, uh, KSP players on YouTube have, have done z videos, if not series, around lathe because it's such a great place to visit in the Kerbal system. It's a little bit challenging once you know to get to get over to Jewel and to, to get an orbit of lathe and land successfully on lathe, but uh, it's also very similar to the to, to flying around on Kerbin. You got air breathing engines that could function here. You've got pretty decent gravity. You've got uh, atmosphere for using parachutes and and um, and, and fixed wing aircraft. So yeah, great place to, to, to play. So again, the idea with this this um, <clears throat> little series, it's to develop lathe. I've already got some vehicles on the surface, as you saw. I've already got that little seaplane. Sea develop lathe and it's uh, the capabilities of all my vehicles and stations on lathe to, to support diverse mission types, to be able to do fun and interesting things. So uh, like I said, I've already got a few vehicles on the surface here. When I realized, man, this would probably be a good little series to put together. So uh, it's got some some things, some little Easter eggs we'll explore and and, and look at. But for the most part, uh, we've got a whole lot of new content, new vehicles that I'll be bringing here, new stations I'll be setting up. So I do hope you will enjoy the little series. So to get into this video, as you saw, I just deorbited this contracopter. It's um, electric, so the, the range is is not great. As I'm learning, so uh, my, my, my battery charge is getting pretty low. So um, as this was the first design, the first flight, and um, experimenting with a helicopter design on lathe. Here you see I'm having issues with the rotor speed, but I think I got it squared away. So uh, I've got a, a, a rescued a Kerbal. He was off the coast. I couldn't get my seaplane to take off again. Uh, again, Kerbin and lathe are similar but not identical. So I was able to use that seaplane successfully on Kerbin, wasn't able to take off from the water on lathe. So he needed to be rescued and I decided a, a helicopter was the vehicle to do it. So this is the maiden flight of this contracopter. Uh, it's called a contra or contra rotating helicopter because it's got two sets of rotors that spin in opposite directions. So their torques counteract each other and the vehicle flies really, really smoothly or relatively smoothly. So Again, other than the, the battery charge being um, too low for, for most longer flights, um, this vehicle worked out pretty well. So uh, definitely we'll either be using this more or maybe tweaking the design. I could also just add some batteries. Maybe I mean, it's got plenty of thrust, so it can could, it could hold more weight. I could probably put on some more batteries and it would be like fine. So here's my little surface station. Uh, for one of the first things that I brought to lathe is kind of... Um, mobile processing lab there. See, there you see I'm actually still conducting science. This is the point in my career mode where I've still got plenty of biomes to explore and lots of science to collect. And uh, I've unlocked the entire tech tree, so that's not the point, but um, still fun to unlock science and and collect all those experiments. So there's some a few little features you saw of my station. Also, I, had, I hadn't, didn't mention it at the time of the footage, but there's a, a large vehicle there for refueling things. And there's... Uh, there's that little rover tucked under the station that I'll be using in a future video. So uh, another vehicle that I sent during this mission, this uh, mission rather, was the VTOL jet, a vertical takeoff and landing air breathing jet. So I got the helicopter, then I decided I would also test out a VTOL. So both of those are meant to uh, land and take off in, in tight spaces and go a reasonable distance, uh, the, the, the jet would be more reasonable. I, I, I find with helicopters, you can't time warp, even uh, physics uh, time warp, because the rotors start to just go crazy. So jets are more tolerant to time warp. So if I've got to fly, I don't know, 50 kilometers, which is not that far, um, I still don't want to spend several minutes of my life flying, necessarily, from one place to another. So uh, jets are typically the, the best tool for that job. So as you can see, I've got a station off in, uh, in the water there. It's a, a fair distance away from my land base. So I can technically reach it with the helicopter and it would only take some minutes, but with the jet, it'd be even quicker. So I can, I can do time warp 
which you can't even really appreciate on YouTube because I'm warping it. I'm <laughs> speeding up the footage even more. But uh, yeah, time warp is, is 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 definitely handy even on the surface of planets and stuff or, or moons in this case. So I've landed my VTOL. I'm gonna take off again. Yeah, this is, I'm really just testing it for the first time. Uh, most of the vehicles that I'll send to lathe, I'll just immediately crash down or land rather, so that I can save. I can do a quick save, and then from there I'm, I, I can take off again and maybe pinpoint my landing somewhere else. So this is another rescue mission. Both of these um, vehicles went and recovered someone from the water. So uh, I believe this guy was uh, the unfortunate. Uh, only not only survivor but the only crew member of a space station that i had put in a retrograde orbit of lathe which really isn't useful so i just deorbited the entire station and that was his little pod that he uh, he used to land on lathe so he needed to be rescued thankfully i was able to land him close to my 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 surface base here and my water base which i'm i'm sure i think we do see in this in this video Really enjoyed flying this VTOL. So didn't mention the design yet, but as I mean, as you can see on screen, both of the engines swivel right at the pretty much right at the dead center of mass. And one trick for maintaining that center of mass is all the fuel for the jet is also centered and symmetrical. So as fuel is used, the mat the center of mass shouldn't move. And uh, the only thing that could affect the center of mass would be the pilot, but I think that's pretty negligible. So there you see I'm going to plant the flag with that person who was just rescued. They're a, a brand new crew member. They actually have to be returned to Kerbin, which will be a later video. But, um, yeah, that's the end of the video. I wasn't paying attention to the timer. But uh hope you enjoyed the series so far. Uh, I've got lots of videos already recorded. I appreciate you tuning in, and I hope to see you again.